New games are full of learning curves, and Delta Force's tactical turmoil is no stranger to that fact as well. This is a brand new first person shooter featuring three different game modes, but the one I'm going to be focusing on is Tactical Turmoil. This is the extraction based looter shooter version of Delta Force Hawk Ops. Now, today I want to cover the three tips that I think that every player when they first start playing Delta Force need to know, and it's going to help your time getting into the game be a lot easier. The first very important tip, especially for brand new players of this genre is going to be Picking your operator wisely. Now you have access to six different operators, but only four when you first start. But the most important one, especially for new players, is making sure you pick Roy Smee. Stinger. Stinger offers you the ability to heal yourself on the go with his stim pistol. This stim pistol, in combination with his smoke screens, not just one, but two, he has a smoke screen and a smoke grenade, allows him to be the best player for beginners in the game. Not only are you no longer gonna be required to have to carry as many medical items, but you can also heal on the go, very similar to any other game that's ever featured a stem. If you're coming over from Call of Duty Warzone, you'll be familiar with those, but this is the absolute best character to start off in the game. Not only do you reduce the amount of meds that you have to carry, but you also free up more spaces to carry out better items while you're starting your leveling journey inside of the game. Tip number two, and this can be very important for as you get further into the game as well, but learning to manage your stash is going to be very paramount in your success levels inside this, this game and this mode. One of the very important things to know is down at the bottom is a sort stash button. If you've never played a looter shooter like this, then you are probably gonna be extremely overwhelmed by the stash. Well, the first thing that you wanna know is sorting the stash will go a really long way to keeping everything of one type in one area. So now you can always find your meds, your bullets, your weapons, and any attachments and any sellable items inside this as well. This will go a really far way into helping you upgrade things like your black site and to level up and help your departments and your weapons get better as well. But one of the big parts about sorting the stash also gives you access to one of the most useful just overall options for any item sitting inside your stash because ultimately no matter what you go in with and what you come out with one of the biggest goals for your characters and for yourself inside of delta force hawk ops the tactical turmoil mode is you're trying to upgrade your black site your black site has a bunch of different things that you can do to upgrade it to make you or your character better or to make whatever you're trying to do a little bit stronger but inside of your stash is going to have the entire options of getting to click on it and you're going to look for this one option called usage usage right here this is going to tell you exactly what each item is for and why you would want to keep it now keeping in mind that some of the items are going to be useful now and some of the items are going to be useful down the list but you can always see whether or not this is going to be a a very useful item for you in the long run or if it's something that's just going to make you a lot of money now obviously all the items are also color coded based on their rarity or their usefulness but don't get rid of everything that's a gray item just because it's a gray item sometimes those items like this precision tool set right here are going to go for constructing your black site which is going to mean it's going to help your character level up so just because it's gray doesn't mean it's useless and just because it's a low money count doesn't mean it's useless either this is going to be how you're going to progress your character and your black site through the game so learning to manage your stash understanding how to sort and learning how to actually look at and see what each thing is worth is extremely useful. And at worst case scenario, you can always sell it on the auction house for some extra money. And the third and final tip, this one is gonna help you get through combat quite a bit easier. And that is understanding ammo rarities and the ability to be able to take out your enemies easier by understanding them themselves. When you start playing this game, there is a bunch of different ammos for not just calibers like the different styles for either 5.56 for an SG or a slugs for a shotgun or 9mm for a pistol, but there's also different ammo types and those different ammo types offer different benefits. Now, one of the benefits of some of the ammo types is the fact that it's just cheap. And while you're starting off, you may not have much money. Or if you went like me on a spending spree and just don't have a lot of money, sometimes you're going to need to buy just some of the lower tier 
ammo options. But as you get further into the game, people will start having better and better armor, and then your ammo choice is going to absolutely matter. Now, you'll have to know what weapon uses what item. Now, with that being said, you'll also be able to just hover over the weapon and it'll tell you which ammo type that it's running. Uh, the SG-552 is running the 556x54, the SV-98 using 762x54R, the SMG-45 running 45 ACP. None of that is hidden from you, thank goodness. Some games they want you to guess or you just have to know what ammo you're going to be putting into this. These are going to tell you straight up front and when you pick up off a player inside of the game or one of the AI, you will be able to know immediately what ammo it uh, type it takes, either A by what they're carrying or B because it'll always be listed under the name of the weapon. But also, just like the items inside your stash, the ammo types will be color coded based on rarity and generally their effectiveness against the players. Now, as the ammo type gets further up, generally what's going to happen is it's going to increase your armor penetration. Now, I'll highlight my over armor over here and show you a little bit about it. This is a pretty decent armor vest for where I'm at right now. This has a level 3 protection. So you'll see that protection can go all the way up to level 6. And basically how this works is the higher the protection, the greater the damage reduction as long as it's still functioning. Well, the ammo works again in that same premise, but in reverse. So if I go over here to my 762 by 39 BP, uh, you'll see I have level four penetration. So this shows that I will break straight through one, two, and three and start damaging four. So level four and below can partially penetrate ballistic vests and helmets with protection level four. Cannot penetrate ballistic vests and helmets with protection level four and above. So basically, if I run into a player with a level three armor, I'm breaking straight through it with this level four ammo. And if I run into somebody with level five armor, well, I'm about to have to put a lot more shots into them. So understanding what ammo you're running and the symbols that you see when you hit somebody will instantly tell you how much or how little armor the other player is running. If I run into a player running a level one helmet with my level four ammo, well, unfortunately for them, their cantaloupe is split. So taking in good ammo with less amount of it just for player engagements is sometimes better than taking a ton of expensive ammo in primarily to fight bots. Now, your ammo can be changed on the fly. We are right now only accessible to playing this on side keyboard and mouse, so you won't have the option for a controller configuration for that right now. But right now, if you hold R and reload, if you have multiple ammo types inside of your vest or in your backpack, you can actually swap which ammo you're utilizing at any situation in the match. So if you run into some players and you I'm going to need some armor penetration, you can swap over to one of your level four or level three level ammos. So that way you have a better chance of winning your engagements. Or if you're going to be running into a high bot area, you can obviously swap over to your level one, which really is just for removing bots in low, low level matches. Now, hopefully this stuff will help you get started inside of Delta Force and allow you to extract a little bit safer and with a little bit more extra loot. Now, we're gonna continue making videos on this as long as I have access to this game, so if there's more things you wanna see me cover, please let me know. I have been absolutely falling in love with the way that this game plays. If you ever play Call of Duty DMZ, this game has a very similar feel to that, but it also has the reward and risk feeling from a game like Tarkov or Grey Zone Warfare. So this is actually meeting in a perfect middle ground right now for those who are looking for a hardcore shooter experience, but with the ease of access of an arcade shooter similar to Call of Duty. Uh, this game does also have two other modes I mentioned at the beginning of the, of the video as well. It has a single player mode if you want to just learn how to get into the game and just get a little bit of a feel for the combat. And then also it has a 32 versus 32 operations style mode if you're a Battlefield player or something akin to the idea of Call of Duty's Ground War. If you haven't already got to watch much of this gameplay, I recommend doing so. It is a ton of fun. And then if you actually get a chance to get a hold of one of the alpha codes right now while it's on PC, then let me know. I would love it if, to help you if you have any questions about the game as well. And then as this game gets closer and closer to release, it is coming out for PlayStation, Xbox, and there's words of it coming out to mobile as well. So this is gonna be a game for you to be able to get all your friends in and really have yourself a grand old time. And again, free to play.
it's hard to beat that nowadays. So if there's anything you want to hear me cover, let me know. I'm going to be happy to help try to help y'all get into this game and come out successful rather than confused. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, peace.